guys welcome back to sincerely remise so today um as you can tell by the title i'm going to be talking to you guys about um paris harley and um girl let's talk also known as amira um hashing out their issues uh, with one another or clearing the air i'd say um so i didn't originally catch paris's live but paris ended up having a um, raw talk where she was speaking live online. She invited a uh, girl let's talk on to her um, Her live stream to come on and they kind of like hashed everything out um, between them so um, Let me just give you guys a little brief rundown of um, who girl let's talk is and what I know about her so um, girl let's talk is a youtuber who um, kind of started her platform um, she's a life coach and she also does some other things. I see she does like some things like with uh, fixing people's resumes and things like that. Um, but she's been using her life coach um, education and the things that she knows um, to be able to influence her to uh, give feedback on Keisha and Jeremy's situation. I think that's how she started her channel. Those are the only videos I've seen. Um, uh, I got familiar with her because she popped up on my um, recommended uh, videos feed. Um, and she's a Jersey girl just like me. So, um, and she gives really good advice and she has really good content. Um, so she made a bunch of videos about Keisha. She kind of, um, started her platform off of that. Like that's what she was doing. Um, and I was, I would say any other topics that came up like the, um, what's that man's name with the, with the, with the wife and she was the, the breastplate of Jesus. She talked about that stuff too. Um, but she just gives sound advice. Um, she basically says the same thing Paris Harvey says, but just in a nicer fashion, a more professional manner, I guess. Um, so that's how I came across Girl Let's Talk, and I'm sure that's probably how a bunch of other people came across her. Um, but I really did like her because on top of everything, she's a Jersey girl just like me. Um, so I started to watch her a little bit more. So what happened was Girl Let's Talk, she was making videos about Keisha's situation, giving her advice, and, you know, really... Uh, giving Keisha the blueprint, if you ask me, of what to do, whether or not she moves forward with Jeremy. She let her know if you're going to move forward with that man and marry him, you're going to be in for a rude awakening with the child support and all that stuff. And if you don't marry him, you can move like this and do X, Y, Z. Um, so <clears throat> she made a few videos. Um, Keisha's mom got on the internet and was calling her all types of names, um, uh, talking about her physical appearance, um, just being really really nasty um briefly after that uh, i think it was briefly after that um keisha started to make some uh legal threats saying that she's going to sue this person that person and i think uh because of that as a result um girl let's talk she removed her videos um she did uh, issue keisha a public apology she just basically was saying um she was wrong and she got too invested in something that you know could potentially be causing another person, i.e. Keisha, um, some harm and she didn't want to be a part of that, which is understandable, her prerogative. Okay, cool. So, um, the other day she got on live and she was speaking about, um, I, I guess people must have been asking her um, if she has any affiliation uh, with Paris Harley or... Troletta, or I don't know, I don't know what made her say this. I just heard the clip in Paris' live. I didn't even actually go watch the video. But um, the clip that Paris Harley felt some type of way about was um, Girl Let's Talk was saying, Hey, I don't follow Paris or Troletta, but I do like Troletta, so I should go follow her. Um, and I guess Paris Harley may have taken some offense to that, which, if I'm honest, Amira. Um, if it were me in this situation, it sounds like I don't like Paris Harley, so I'm not going to follow her. I like Troletta, so maybe I should follow her. You said you didn't follow either one of them, but the, you put an emphasis on I like Troletta, so maybe I should follow her. So you didn't say anything in reference to Paris, so do you not like Paris like that? Which is kind of weird because I, um, not, I'm not going to say weird, which is odd because I've, I've seen Amira. Um, and multiple live streams that Paris has because I'm Butterfly Gang. I love Paris Harley, just so we're clear. Um, and I like her content. Um, but yeah, as a listener, that's kind of what I heard.
But yeah, as a listener, when you hear like, oh, I should follow Troletta. I like her. She's witty. She's quick on her feet and she has these, you know, whatever, whatever. It kind of, I'm not going to say you were shading Paris, but it kind of, why didn't you, you know, like you, you didn't say you wanted to follow Paris or whatever the case may be, but you were analyzing things like that. I, I like Girl Let's Talk too. Like her content is also great. Um, yeah. Like I was saying, I like Girl Let's Talk as well. Um, her content is really good. And like I said, she gives sound advice. But um, if I were Paris, I would I can understand and I probably would have felt like, hmm, you know, a little slighted. I probably wouldn't have said anything um, like how Paris, Paris did because it's not that serious. But I can understand and I can see why Paris thought you were like trying to slight shade her. So um, long story short, Paris starts um, her live and she starts addressing a few things and she start she addressed that she played the clip of Girl Let's Talk saying, um, I like Tro I don't follow Troletta or Paris, but I do um, like Troletta, so I should go follow her, whatever the case may be. Paris put that in there and then Paris like kind of like give a little background um, that they did have some type of. Um, um, interaction with each other just going in each other's lives or whatever um but they don't really I, I think paris was saying like she doesn't really watch her content like that but she might have popped into a few of her lives here and there and then in the midst of her um explaining that she kind of like went on a rant she was like saying basically i don't know why amira would be you know slighting me or throwing shade at me like it's no static you know she's tried to follow me on instagram but i think being that Paris has shut her Instagram down and made it private. She probably didn't um, allow her to follow her or whatever at the time. And it was just a bunch of, uh, I think really it was just um, a misunderstanding. So Amira calls into the live because she, uh, she was in the comments and I guess people were telling Paris, hey, Amira's in the comments, Amira's here, Amira's here. So um, Amira is girl, let's talk. I keep flip-flopping in between her real name and her screen name. Um, so... Paris is like, hey, girl, you could call in if you want to speak your piece or whatever the case may be. And I will say, I was kind of um, stunned by how uh, Girl Let's Talk got on camera. Like, when she initially, um, not got on camera, got on the live. She was kind of, like, like rowdy. I get it, I get it though, because we're from the same place, so I get it. But um, it kind of threw me, it kind of threw me off a little bit. And I think she probably was like that though because of how Paris Harley is. Paris don't give a she don't give a good coup who, um, who is who. And I, I will say I don't I feel like if Amira would have listened to it a little better with the with a more open ear, Paris even said after she was done saying whatever she needed to say. Um, I think she was coming and I think too she was coming more of a place where I'm like, I don't understand why why um girl let's talk with say that you know like oh i like troletta so let me follow troletta but like do you not like me or something like that it was kind of like she was speaking out of curiosity almost and she even said y'all butterfly gang don't go over there saying nothing to her nothing like that it's no static i just don't understand you know like why she would say that like it's no hard feelings or nothing like that she did say that um at the beginning and at the end of what she said um in regards to the situation so I was a little bit surprised by when the girl let's talk did get on the live, how um I would say she was a little abrasive and she was kinda like rowdy um off the rip, which is odd for her because she's usually pretty level headed, I would say. But this is just my um assessment of it. This is how she appeared to me. Um so uh they get the ironing out, they're having a conversation about it, and basically, um Amira was saying, you know, like it was no shade to you. I don't like or dislike you. It wasn't, you know, anything like that. I was just saying, you know, I was just bigging up Troletta. I like her, whatever, whatever. Um, and I think now this is just my honest opinion. I like both ladies. I think that um Amira kind of wasn't being honest about um how she said it i guess because it did i don't know i'm not going to call that lady i'm not going to sit here and say she was lying or anything like that but like i said i when i heard it i kind of felt like she was shading her a little bit like she didn't say nothing bad about paris harley but it was like i like troletta so i should go follow troletta but you were mentioning both of them at you know like at the same time and it's just like you've supported paris 
why can't you say you like her or you know like why wouldn't you mention that you like her content or whatever and i'm not i'm not gonna lie i've heard amira girl let's talk say in her other videos that she does like her but it seemed like in this in this clip she was like making it a point to to, to say she liked trolletta and like not say anything about i don't really know how to explain it but you guys actually have to hear the clip to um to get what i'm saying so um it did sound a little it sounded a little fishy i will say that she did clear it up though she was just like it's no i don't have no static with you paris it wasn't like that you know i like trolletta so i said i want to follow trolletta, trolletta um and i think too i think it was like a bit a big misunderstanding once Girl Let's Talk, also known as Amira, deleted her videos on Keisha and gave, she also gave the $700 that she made off the videos to Keisha. Keisha gave the $700 to um, the girl D that be, be in her mouthpiece or whatever. And Paris was um, referring to the $700 as $700 bum ass dollars. Um, Amira had a problem with the fact that Paris was saying that um, which, which I found crazy because when Paris was saying it, she was saying it in reference to, um, the girl D making all these videos defending Keisha and all Keisha gave her was $700, 700 bum ass dollars. She wasn't saying it was 700 bum ass dollars in reference to anything that had anything to do with girl let's talk. So I didn't understand why she would have been upset with that or me or felt any kind of way, um, in reference to that comment because it had nothing to do with her. Um, but Paris reassured her that it didn't have anything to do with her. And I would say that for the most part, they ironed their issue out. But then Paris, honey, like a good old, um, old fashioned Wendy Williams interview, honey, she flipped it. She started asking Amira questions that, um, you know, all of you was wanted to know. Basically, why did you, um, backpedal a little bit and delete your videos? Well, we all thought she deleted her videos. We found out in this live that she actually just privated them. Um, you know, like, was she coerced by Keisha? Did, those, did she, you know, did those people bully her or, you know, scare her into deleting her videos or whatever? And she just basically, um, told Paris and everybody in the live, no, I didn't want to be another face that that girl sees talking about her. The girl has hundreds of people making videos about her. I didn't want to be another person. And she also was saying like, um, not that it made her insecure or anything like that, but she didn't like that her channel was being built off of Keisha's um I would say hard times. She didn't want to keep on building her platform because that's how she started it. Her YouTube channel. She started her YouTube channel talking about um Keisha and Jeremy's relationship and um just basically giving feedback on um the drama that was going on in their, li their lives. Now although she wasn't bashing the girl or cursing her out or you know coming from um a harsh place she just was saying that she basically didn't want to she just basically was saying she didn't want to be any type of aid to any pain to keisha and that wasn't the goal of her videos and she see how um it made keisha feel her mom feel um she just didn't want to be a part of that anymore um a part of the hate train basically she was it sounded like she was trying to call it but basically in a nutshell they both just um Paris and Girl Let's Talk, they both just ironed out their issues, both told each other what each other was feeling based off of what was said in, in each other's content. Um, but you can definitely tell that, um, I'd say that there was a little bit of animosity in the background, I'd say on the behalf of Girl Let's Talk because that 700 bum ass dollars comment had been being said and if you felt some type of way about it in the live you probably felt some type of way about it before hence why you probably were throwing shade at her Paris in the um uh in the video where you were calling or where she where Amira was saying oh I like Troletta maybe I should follow Troletta and it's just like you've been in Paris's lives multiple times um, she says she says things like that. So it's like you do support her. Why not follow her? Um, and I get it. They did talk about um, when Keisha was um, threatening all of the content creators who were talking about her, threatening them with legal action. So um, Keisha ba basically trying to make it seem like Paris, Troletta, and Amira were like a gang or something like that, trying to gang up on her. Um, but even I guess she, so maybe her efforts in not and not following them but supporting them being you know being like a um an avid viewer 
uh, was, you know, to still support them but not look like she was affiliated with them. Like, I get that, but girl, if you like both of their content, like both of their content, and I feel like maybe, this is just a theory, maybe she didn't um, admit to liking Paris or, you know, saying she should follow her because maybe she doesn't want it to look like she's affiliated with her in any manner or anything like that. But it's just like, if you're going to support the girl, support the girl. If not, you don't have, you didn't, you know what I'm saying? You didn't have to say her name. You didn't have to, um, mention her when you was talking about, uh, like and troll lettuce videos or anything like that. Like you didn't have to do that. Cause what's going to, what, what's naturally going to happen, happen is people's going to hear you say Paris's name and people are going to hear you say troll name and going to compare what you said about each of them <laughs> And deduce whatever needs to be deduced or, you know, do whatever they will with the information. And it's just like, um, it'll, it, if we're going to keep it a buck, it'll make you look crazy because you be in her lives, you support her. You probably been in the, in the discord for all we know. And then you saying, oh, I like Choletta though. I should follow Choletta, but you support, you, you obviously like Paris's content. You be around, like you have been in multiple live streams. Um, just say you like the girl. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and I feel like. Um, and I and I feel like Paris likes her too. Paris been in one of her, um, at least one of her lives, and Paris has even shouted her out. Um, she even defended her when Keisha's mom got on the internet and was talking about Girl Let's Talk. She was upset that Keisha's mom got on there calling her all types of names in reference to her eyes and things like that. Like that was it was because it was actually disgusting. Um, I think everybody on the internet who saw it were kind of like taken aback by it. Um, but uh, I said all that to say they ironed out their issues. Um, I think that there's no beef moving forward. Um, I don't think there was ever any beef. I think maybe it was just a big misunderstanding. Um, and I do understand the need for separation to not look like they're affiliated with each other because they're not. Um, but well, girl, let's talk. If you are rocking with Paris content and you, you know, like you like her content, just say that you don't have to, um, act like you don't we see you watching her um content and things like that and you have good content as well and nobody's like it's like not nothing crazy nobody's pinning you guys against each other or anything like that of course keisha's going to do what she needs to do try to spin a narrative but here's the reality of the situation keisha ain't served nobody with no papers because she ain't got no case okay um also the last thing that i did want to touch on she also said that she did not delete her video. She privated them just in case anything came back in court or she got subpoenaed and they all had to come in and um, she didn't want anybody to be able to make up anything to say she said something. She would have her videos as reference to speak to whatever she spoke, whatever she said in reference to Keisha. But like I said, Girl Let's Talk has really good content. She doesn't, um, she doesn't really bad mouth people. Now, if you're doing something stupid, she's going to say in a nice way, you're looking great, she says. Um, she's not going, you know, she don't really curse or any, I don't think I really hear her curse or anything like that. So like I said, she has good content. Her and Paris are basically saying the same things in their, were saying the same things in their videos. It's just Paris is a little bit more abrasive. She keeps a little bit raw, you know, like how you would talk to your homegirls in your living room on the phone. That's how Paris talk. Amira speaks like, uh, you know, in a professional manner, let's say as if Keisha's her client or something like that. So that was the video I do like still like both of their content and i do think both ladies have um a very promising future um in youtube land i just hope that they can keep it cute um with each other and not you know moving forward not have any static or any beef because they both are in the same line of work of course but yeah that's my spiel on um girl let's talk in paris harley's interaction via um via the live because if I'm being honest, I was low-key shook. I thought they was going, because the way Amir got on y'all, I thought they was going to get to arguing, but Paris did keep it cute, and I'm I'm happy because people, I think people expect, and I think that's probably what happened. Amira probably expected her to be, like, rowdy and things like that, but maybe she didn't hear what Paris said prior to or something. I don't know, but Paris was being, she was keeping it cute. She wasn't being nasty or anything like that, in my opinion. She just was stating how she was feeling, you know? I don't know why. Girl, let's talk. We'll talk about me and that man. I don't know why I was even brought up, which if that's her case, that's her case. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to see y'all. I'm about to film another BBL video. So I'll see y'all in the next one.